Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be doing the long-awaited matchup guide finally. Been stalling it out for too long, so I kind of feel guilty. I got a lot of time today, so I'll try to get like a part of it done. Um, it's probably gonna be like an hour-long video, maybe more, but yeah, the matchups I don't cover in this, I'll cover in the part two, which is gonna be uploaded once I get 80k, so make sure to like and subscribe. Um, once I get to 80k, I'm dropping it the very next day for the matchups that I didn't cover, but yeah, just gonna hop right in, just sit back and enjoy, I guess. Love you guys so much. Okay, I'm just gonna get started now. On my mini account at the moment, it's at 6.6, .6, so the matchup might get a bit repetitive. Hopefully they don't though. But yeah, hoping to face a lot of different matchups here. Also, I apologize in advance if my commentary gets scuffed later on because I'm gonna be playing for hours straight, trying to find different matchups and whatnot. So once I find out what deck he's playing, I'm gonna break it down to like the smallest detail I can. So Zappies and Log looking like RG. When they have Zappies, they mostly don't have a Lightning, they have a Fireball. So what you wanna do in this matchup is just get a pretty good damage lead in single and not with Axe, but Lock. You want to be fireballing them and just logging them out in single, and you don't want to take any damage in single, obviously. If you play good defense in single, they're not going to be able to go for um, RG in single, which means you don't take any damage. All you got to do is defend the ability, the Skeleton ability, and just fireball the Zappies or the Fisherman, even the Hunter in the back. But yeah, I'm going to Arches over here to kill the Skellies. Okay, so I'm going to Skellies over here because I feel like they're going to get a lot of damage if I don't. Okay, so he's got a king. I guess he's kind of like adapting to the new meta, so he put in the king in the RG deck, but I'm not sure if that actually makes a difference in the matchup. Might be better for me because he's got a slower cycle, but I don't really know yet. Gonna test in the middle. Also, one important thing about this matchup is that if they know what they're doing, they're definitely gonna get the RG push. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, they go for like an RG in the back and just try to play the Skelly King next to it once it walks up. So like the RG just kind of goes around the test on not locking on it and just goes to your tower. If they know how to do that, you often don't want to like pre-place your tesla you just want to hold on to it and just wait till they play our rg but if they don't know how to do that you can just kind of pre-place the rg and i'm assuming this guy does not know how to do it so i'm just gonna play my tesla in the middle if i get it back okay goes for skelly in the back so going back to what i was talking about you can just kind of play a tesla in the middle if they play a skelly in the back because to push the rg they actually need to play the rg first and then go for like a skelly king next to it it's not gonna work the other way around so the test on the middle here might pop the ability but i got my log ready so i feel like i'm fine all right just go for the ability so i'm gonna log over here to kill the skellies to keep my tesla alive I'm gonna skellies here okay the tesla's gonna die but i'll try to get back to the second one this matchup all you want to do is really once again just fireball cycle constantly okay well obviously not gonna fireball one zap because i need a little bit more value than that but yeah just go for fireball logs and just constantly play defense don't let them go in if you play good defense like they're just never gonna be able to go in so give me a pretty good fisherman so i'm gonna take it Okay, the archer should kill that now. Okay, goes for Skelking on the left here. Might try to go in. Um, I'm going to try to get back to my Fireball because I feel like he's going to go for a Mother Witch. Yeah, just go for it. Okay, so I'm going to cycle my Skellies at the bridge. You want to kind of like cycle them at the bridge if they have a Mother Witch and um, cycle because you don't want her to get a lot of value and just get a lot of pigs on the field. So I'm going to Ice Spirit on defense. Also going to go for Skellies here. Just going to let them die to his Skelly so I don't have to worry about the Mother Witch. going to go for Skellies in the back here. Okay, goes for Zappies in the back. Um, just spend like log and fireball cycling, so I'm up like a good 600 damage. Okay, goes for a fisherman. He played it kind of high this time, so it's pretty good to see that he's adapting. He's not playing it low anymore, knowing that I'm definitely gonna fireball if, if he does. So, can arches in the back here. Okay, goes for skelly in the back. As you can see, he's just kind of like repeating what he did like the last two minutes. He's not really being able to go for RG, so I'm gonna go for defensive expo. So I actually force out like an RG now. I feel like he's gonna RG with the skelly king, and I'm gonna make sure to not let the Skelly King pushed the RG, okay. Kind of panicked there, so I played the Tesla on the left. Also, it's a better play to play it on the left instead of playing it in the middle because he would have gotten like a really good fireball. Um, hopefully, the RG does not get a hit, okay. So, he's not back to RG. I'm going to go in here. It did not get a hit. I got kind of lucky there. Stared at the tower for like a good second, but Skelly's here to kind of um, distract the Zappies. All right, goes for RG, so he's definitely going to be able to kill my Expo. Also, do not ever overcommit. If they play RG on the Expo, just let it die. Like, just let it go. You can firewall them out if you know your up elixir like I did. You can also try to log him, but I had to log on defense there. But I'm gonna ice spirit over here to cycle. Okay, goes for Mother Witch. Um, that's not really gonna make a difference. It's on the opposite lane. I don't think that's the lane he's going for, so yeah, it's kind of a bad play. But then again, the ice spirit was kind of goaded because I pretty much knew he'd have to play like a goblin gang or like a mother witch on it. Um, I'm gonna arches on defense, also gonna log here. Not gonna take the fireball on the two zappies because I feel like he's gonna fisherman. Yeah, goes for it. So I'm gonna fireball here. Um see what he does now okay pretty bad mother witch he put it into my knight and two archers it's not gonna make any pigs i'm gonna archers over here also gonna test in the middle it's a pretty good fireball if he takes it okay yeah takes it so i'm gonna have to do this also got a really good log i think he predicted my ice spirit but i'm gonna test in the middle here okay 
getting pretty lucky with the RG shots, but my defense is also pretty good, so he's not getting any damage today. Gonna Skelly's high here. Also gonna Knight to not let the Fisherman hook on it. Okay, also gonna log over here on defense. He played a Fireball, so I'm gonna Archer's low. He's not back to Fireball at all. He's like pretty far away, so gonna Fireball. Also going to try to get back to my second Fireball. Not that I need it, but I just want to get back to it to throw it on the tower. Okay, I'm not gonna have enough Elixir for it. Actually, do I? Okay, I barely got it off, but that's how you beat the matchup. But with RG Lightning, though, it's a different story. Hopefully, I face it later on. Um, I, like, face, like, all the RG variants. So I can kind of explain all the matchups. But, yeah, Lightning is, like, 10 times harder compared to Fireball. Okay, I'm in a match here. Facing strong. See what deck he's playing. Hopefully, a different archetype. Gonna high spirit to cycle. Okay, goes for Bar Barrel, so it's going to be uh, some sort of beatdown deck. Okay, it lets it connect. Nice. He's got to play something else for me to know what deck he's playing. And Arch is in the back to cycle here. Um, okay, goes for Cannon, so it's going to be E-Giant. It's a pretty good matchup, I want to say. This matchup looks better on paper compared to when you're actually playing it, but it is a pretty good matchup, I want to say, so should not have a problem beating it. Oftentimes, I beat this matchup by baiting out like a random lightning on the ground because I played like a bad Tesla on purpose, so like they pre-lightning it, thinking the E-Giant's going to go to it, but when the E-Giant actually doesn't go to it, the Tesla's not going to pop, so the lightning just like hits nothing and... Uh, yeah, I win the game like that, but you also want to like anticipate their predictions. Oftentimes, when they go for like an E Giant in the back, they always go for like an I Drag opposite lane to predict Axe, but like a cannon all the way at the bridge to predict Axe. But so you don't want to get predicted like that because don't get me wrong, if they hit one of those predictions, you're not going to be able to bounce back from like the bad cycle and the elixir disadvantage. So you want to kind of like play on the orthodox. Gonna fireball him here because he's not going to be able to punish me for it because he played a NATO and a Barbarrel on the archers. And he got no damage from the eye drag, so I don't really see what the point of that was. Okay, gonna test on the middle here. He's not gonna be able to lightning, so gonna knight in the middle as well. Not really worried about the push here. I kind of want to go in, but I know for a fact he's gonna predict. Once the E Giant dies, I'm gonna have a knight alive, so he's gonna think I have an expo, or I'm going to expo, so he's definitely gonna predict. Yeah, I had a feeling. Pretty much like 90% of the players always play like this, so it's so much easier to beat them. Um, so I'm gonna go expo opposite lane because I feel like he's gonna cannon as well, like right after. Okay, never mind. He's kind of patient enough to not play a cannon there, so probably gonna cannon my expo. Okay, got the cannon, so I'm gonna block it. Goes for lightning on the expo, so you get what I'm saying though. Like, you wanna get some pretty good damage early on by kind of mind gaming them and not getting predicted, and you just kind of like fireball cycle and double and triple. You don't really have to get a lock, so I'm gonna knight in the back. Um, see what he does. Might try to go for like an E Giant in the back. I'm not back to expo, so if he's counting cards, he might just go for like an E Giant in the back. Archer's in the middle split here. Okay, goes for Dark Prince in the back. I wanted to predict that Dark Prince in the back and not let him e giant on time, but it was too risky. It's double elixir, so I didn't really want to do it. Gonna fireball though, like I said, just go for random fireballs and logs. They're not going to be able to punish you in this matchup. So gonna go for Skelly's in the middle here to pull the eye dragon. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna expo here. I think I put it into the eye dragon, but it's not gonna do much damage. So I don't really care about it gonna knight here um so yeah when they go each eye in the back opposite lane though you definitely want to pressure them if they can't like predict too actively but gonna log the barb rail here okay they can instead yeah the expo locked on nice all right um pretty good sequence by me okay that was actually a really good fire spirit it's gonna kill my skellies but i'm gonna do this to keep the expo alive I'm also gonna archers here and yeah that was a weird nato i think he gave up i haven't muted because he was bming a lot but that's pretty much how you make an e giant player quit so if you face it again hopefully you manage to beat it gonna hop back in Okay, got a match here. Facing Yins from Crypto Walkers. Out of context, but Crypto is actually down in the slums right now. It's so bad. Okay, goes for Lava in the back first play. Lava Hound's one of the most starting hand dependent matchups. A lot of times people don't believe me, but if you don't have the right hand to defend a Lava first play, you're done. Like, you're not going to be able to come back from that if you lose your whole tower in the first push. Especially if it's like Lava Flying Machine Fireball Bait or like Lava Clone, which in this case is going to be Lava Clone. So, I think I pretty much already lost because you don't want to play your Tesla there. You want to play the Tesla where I played my archers so that like everything kind of stacks up beautifully for a fireball but I thought it was lava clone or what do you call it lava loon so I played the archers there but yeah it's kind of ended up backfiring on me. I don't lose my whole tower here though which is good which is what you want to aim for when defending a lava clone push is like it's fine to take some damage but just make sure to not lose a whole tower even like one HP is good because you force out a spell on it and they only have one spell usually well except for the clone like one damage dealing spell so if you get that out you can definitely get a lock on the other side and just go for it but if he goes lava again i'm definitely gonna try to go for like the opposite lane to bait out like a flying machine or possibly like a skarmy so i can log it he's got a gang and a skarmy though so i might not log the skarmy okay wait this is huge okay i got the flying machine out so i'm just gonna let it die 
So I'm going to test on the right spot here. This is the spot you want to test on because it's going to help you set up like a really good fireball. Everything just kind of walks into it in my opinion. So I'm going to archers over here. I feel like he's got a snowball. He's not playing the arrows. So I'm going to archers over here to DPS on the lumberjack. Also going to ice spirit over here. Also going to skellies to mitigate the damage here. I got archers helping me out, but that might not be enough. Okay, never mind. That was some pretty good defense actually. On second thought, only took one hit. So... I'm in a really good spot. So the most annoying part about this matchup is like not losing your tower in single. I managed to defend like two lava clone pushes, so I feel like I'll be fine here. It's gonna axe on the right side to bait out like a flying machine. Just split up his push again because I'm worried about the flying machine lumberjack clone push with a lava hound. That's actually gonna be so lethal if I miss one fireball. So gonna go for archers on defense. Okay, wait, quick tip. Do not cycle your archers like I did. I was pretty desperate to get damage. I'm also like pretty confident on my defense skills, so I had to go for them, but if you're not confident and you think you're going to lose your tower, just save your archers. Going to try to defend this the best I can. Going to knight over here. Also going to test on 1c um, clones. There it is. So going to archers over here to kill the pups. Okay, that was actually like 10 times better than what I thought was going to happen. I thought I was going to lose my whole tower there, but... Yeah, pretty good defense here. Like I said, I'm pretty confident in my defense skills, but once it actually comes down to defending, I'm pretty like insecure about it. So gonna knight on defense here for that flying machine. He had arrows the whole time and he didn't play it on the archers, but he's gonna pay for it now. They're gonna expo. I think he's back to lumberjack, so I might try to go for like a lumberjack goblin gang. Yeah, it does go for it. So I'm gonna log. Uh he's probably gonna try to go for Skarmy on the expo. Okay, the Ice Spirit jumped on the wrong thing, so I couldn't kill the Skarmy, but I'm just gonna try to go for a second expo. At this point, all you gotta do is pressure so hard that they're literally not gonna be able to play Lava on the field. It's what I do when I'm in overtime versus like Lava clone players. You gotta just keep going in, just keep outcycling them. So I feel like I won the game now. It's gonna be able to go for like a Lumberjack, I think, but he's not gonna be able to block it forever. Never mind, he didn't have enough Elixir for it, so. Won the game right here, but yeah, that's pretty much how you beat Lava clone um, consistently. Of course, if you get starting handed, I can't really help you with that. Okay, got a game here. Facing Coco is back. See what deck he's playing. Gonna go for Arches in the back first play. It's like one of the best plays with the whole deck. Um, it's just so safe knowing that they're not gonna be able to punish you for it. So, gonna try to get back to my expo and just go for it. Just wanna kinda like test the water, see what deck it is. So, it's gonna expo. Might be a beatdown deck. Okay, goes for Bowler, so might be Lumber Loon actually. Yeah, it's a pretty good matchup, but kind of a tricky matchup because Bowler NATO is like absolutely devastating in this matchup. Um, so what you want to do in this matchup is do not let a bowler on your side. If you do, they're just going to go for like a bowler NATO combo and get like a free thousand damage every time. So even like if you do somehow let it go to your tower or go to your side of the arena, you want to go for like a Tesla or like an Expo or just play something they can't NATO into your tower so you'll be fine. But yeah, oftentimes I try to kill a bowler on their side so I feel safer but this is kind of an awkward cycle so I'm going to go for skellies in the back. Kind of want to go in here but I'm not going to. Gonna arches in the back. You most definitely do not want to be the first one to pressure. You just want to let them make the plays and then go for like a counter play. So goes for E-Drag in the back. He just pretty much gave me like a free activation of that. So going to try to get some damage here. Going to Ice Spirit. Okay, wait. He spent a lot and he's not back to Barbarell. So I think I win the game here. He spent 8 Elixir on the right side and he spent um an E-Drag in the back, which is 5 Elixir. So going to activate King here. It's going to do like one shot on my tower. Okay, beautiful sequence. Oh my god. That was nice. Got the activation, defended the um, eye drag on the expo, and killed the lumberjack. Forced out a ton of elixir, and now he's got to respond to that knight. He's probably going to go for like a barbarel though, but still two elixirs, so I'll definitely take it. Actually, might just eat it. Okay, goes for barbarel, not bad. Um, see what I can do here. I kind of want to go in again, but if I do, I have to make sure to have enough for Tesla. So yeah, another important thing in this matchup is like, this is kind of a no-skill matchup from expo side. If you're trying to get damage, you have to go expo Tesla to... Um, get damage. So yeah, right here, I'm gonna go for Expo. I know he's gonna Bowler, so I have to go for like a Tesla to block it. He might freeze this. So I'm gonna let the um, E-Drag walk up and just go for like a Fireball. Like right now to kill the Bowler and just go for like a Log to make sure it dies. Gonna Ice Spirit over here to not let it um, reset my Expo right away. Okay, I got a Lock. It was a pretty hefty Lock too. I'm gonna Knight here so the E-Drag or the E-Drag doesn't like chain my Tesla and the Knight. Okay, I'm pretty positive he's not gonna freeze there. That would have been like a horrible freeze if he did, so... Some pretty good defense there. I just made sure to not like put my stuff together so the E-Drag doesn't get like a lot of value. Gonna um fireball here to take the tower and get the E-Drag out. Okay, 20 seconds left. All I gotta do is defend one more push. So literally I can just pull the um lumberjack back and like I don't know, let the balloon go in front, fireball it out or something. Yeah, gonna knight in the back here. Actually gonna skellies in the back, not gonna waste my knight. Even though there's like eight seconds left. Not that it matters, but yeah. 
archers over here that Tassa should stay alive nice all right yeah pretty easy game honestly was kind of um scared of the bowler nato but he never got a chance to like get the bowler on my side i'm just gonna hop right in and see when i find a game okay got a game here facing the mega night goat he actually got a top 11 so not gonna be easy at all but i do have a pretty good matchup here so should be able to beat this um wait he's playing a different deck all right so i'm gonna knight on defense here might be any sort of rg deck i think could also be like Brit Spam, but I don't really know yet. Okay, it's going to be RG Lightning. A lot of you guys wanted me to um, cover this matchup as well, so. Looking forward to this. It's kind of a bad matchup, but hopefully I'll be able to beat it. Okay, he's got a Giant Skelly, so I feel like this is actually kind of more winnable now compared to like the actual RG Lightning, because I can actually get a lock in this matchup. Just need an Expo right when they go for like a Giant Skelly, so they can't RG on the Expo on time. Um, that's actually going to help me out a lot. But I can't just randomly go in, because if I don't have a fireball in hand, I'm not going to be able to kill the zappies on the expo. So I got to make sure to have the fireball in hand and just go for like an expo opposite when they go giant skelly in single. And if you're wondering why I didn't go expo on the left here, it's because he played it pretty high and like played it on the spot where the expo would have locked on it. Even the opposite lane expo, so he definitely would have had enough for like an RG by the time um, the giant skelly died. So I'm going to knight in the back here. Okay, wait. The hunter is getting a lot of damage. Oh my god, the second hit got like 400 damage. There's actually a lot of damage here, but I'm gonna log this back so it doesn't like splash onto my knight and the tower. Okay, I should have gone in there, but at the same time, I just played a knight, so I didn't have enough for like a fireball right away. Um, got an ice bird over here. Also going to play some defense. If he goes in, I'm just gonna go for like a knight archers. If not, I'll just defend this with like archers low here. I'm gonna let my Tesla die. I can't defend it. It's not better to like over defend something that's already dead, so just gonna let it die gonna chill for now okay um it's a pretty good fireball so i'm gonna take it every time i get a good fireball i'm always gonna take it so i'm gonna log over here also going to go for a high spirit back here so it should only get like one hit on my tower i think um yeah it's only gonna be one hit wait that was kind of a i don't want to say bad but questionable expo because he might still be able to defend my expo here but definitely shouldn't have played that in the back you're supposed to play a giant skelly in the back and just go for like an rg behind it not play an rg in the back first um but yeah gonna knight archers here honestly i might take a lot of damage here if he goes for like a lightning hopefully not though gonna ice spirit okay he's got a snowball not a log so that helps me out a lot i didn't know he had a snowball so i feel like that's a lot better for me now um kind of want to go in but i'm not going to he's back to a new rg so it's just better to play some defense here okay gonna knight also going to go for tesla in the middle and just go for like a defensive expo on the left that way he doesn't get like a really good lightning value on the right side Notice how I'm trying to bait out like a lightning on the left, even though there's an RG on the right side, is because I don't want him to focus on one lane. I just want him to like kind of split up his damage. So like I don't have to worry about that later on. I'm gonna knight over here, also going to go for a log. Okay, this is kind of awkward. But gonna arch is in the middle. Alright, now I'm fine. It was a good lightning though. He got some damage there, but that felt a bit awkward, but I'm fine. Okay, so the archer should kill that fisherman. He's back to new giant skelly, so I'm gonna go for Tesla in the middle. But yeah, at this point, all you want to do in this matchup is just go for like back-to-back -back Teslas in the middle, just play some good defense, and just not get lightning cycled out. Because once you get the feeling that they're lightning cycling you out, you want to like fireball log like right that second, just go for spell cycle right off the bat. Don't want to get out damaged by a spell, so like you always want to keep up with the spell damage. Gonna axe spawn defense here, try to bait out like RG on the right side, but he actually went for a giant skelly on the left. I feel like he's going to go for a RG on the left as well, so this might be a bit awkward. Okay, gonna knight here to save my expo. Also going to go for a log on the right side. Also gonna go for skellies here to not let the fishermen pull. Who am I kidding? They're already locked on the knight, so it's definitely gonna pull it. Okay, the Tessa should take care of that RG though. It should also kill the fisherman on the left. The right side fisherman's like pretty much dead, so I don't really care about it. I still think he's got a lightning. Um, I don't remember if he played it yet, but I still think he's got a lightning. So I'm gonna play my expo like that. No, wait, he actually played it. Yeah, yeah, I remember now definitely played a um lightning so don't want to let him get like a lot of lightning value on the left here because he already got some damage so i kind of want to split up my um expo and the tesla to not let him get like a lot of value going to tesla all the way up high here nice um good defense on that also gonna go for skellies here to stall out the giant skelly over there so it doesn't like walk up to my expo to kill it going to log over here also gonna go for tesla high so he can't like lighten the tesla and the expo all right go start lightning on the archers honestly a pretty good play in my opinion because He's not going to be able to lightning the Tesla in the tower, so might as well go for like the archers to stop the DPS on the RG. But just going to go for archers. Just spam everything I have at this point. Okay, also going to go for a Tesla. Locked on the fisherman, so I got to play a knight here, but 
That's all good. Just go for Fireball Log and he's not going to be able to out damage me. If he got back to a second Lightning though, he definitely would have been able to beat me. But yeah, kind of a bad matchup, but still managed to beat us. So I'm pretty happy. Um, but yeah, see if I face like the actual like RG Lightning without a Giant Skelly matchup. That's like even harder than this. So yeah, if I face it, I'll definitely make sure to put it in. But if not, I'll try to cover it in the part two. Okay, got a game here. Facing Cavalito. See what deck he's playing. Gonna cycle my Ice Spirit. Okay, I'm pretty happy to see that card because I don't think I cycled um, or recovered any deck with that cycle card. So, gonna Knight in the back here. Uh, goes for Edrak. Okay, it's gonna be Eagle. I feel like I'm pretty good in this matchup, so not really worried about losing this matchup. Gonna play Matessa High here to snipe the Edrak. So, what you wanna do is not go in in single. If they go Eagle in the back, you just wanna kinda buckle up for defense and just not go in. Just defend the whole game. Once you defend the Eagle, though, then you want to counter push. But yeah, do not ever be the first one to go in. Just go for like Arches in the back. And if he doesn't do anything, I'm just going to go for like a Knight to force something out. But definitely not an Expo, though, like I said. Okay, you might try to go for like E Barbs on this or possibly like, I don't know, Healer. Could also try to go for Eagle and like E Barbs behind it. Try to go for Arrows to take my whole tower. But instead, he goes for Healer on it. So I think this guy knows how to play the matchup because if he went Eagle in the back there, the Knight would have gotten like the whole tower. So. Defended it pretty fine. Also, he's not like really aggressive like all the Eagle and players are, so I like his play style. Gonna go for Arches in the back again. I'm just gonna go for Knight after that because I know he's not gonna go for Eagle. So, one thing you need to be careful in this matchup is that if they go for an Eagle and push, you wanna let the Eagle and die and then go for like a Fireball Log on the Blob. So, you kill him pretty fast, get the Elixir back, and just play a lot of stuff on defense. Because if you don't get the Elixir on time, you lose the whole game. Like, you're not gonna be able to um, defend it, you're just gonna get overwhelmed. So, Lost a lot of games because of that, but I think I know how to play the defense now because I've been facing this deck like forever. Going to go for an expo. I played the expo um like that because I kind of misplaced my Tessa there on defense, so I had to kind of like make it lean forward. Okay, gonna go for Skellies to not let that um lock onto my Tessa for like a good second, but it is gonna lock on it now though. So I'm gonna log over here to get the elixir back, like I said. Kind of want to activate King, but I can't really do that anymore because I played my archer, so I'm gonna have to do one of these. Okay, he's got arrows. That is not good news. Thought he had NATO, but he's got arrows. So see how I can win this now. I'm gonna knight to block the eye drag. He didn't play an eye drag. So I'm gonna log over here and uh go for a fireball. So like I said, once a blob dies or once the elixir golem dies, you want to fireball the blobs to get the elixir pretty fast. Um, like you guys saw there, I got the elixir pretty fast, so I was able to go axe ball opposite lane, but I don't think I'm getting any damage here though. I'm gonna skelly is also going to go for archers. He's back to healer, so he's just gonna heal her high. Yeah. Just goes for healer um low not high i thought he was going to go for healer high but played it low gonna tesla here um so when it comes to these situations i don't really know how to get out of these because you just like kind of like stuck going in and defending at the same time like you just don't get any damage but at the same time he doesn't either but you're getting a lot of elixir so eventually you're bound to get like a pretty good lock right that's my theory but i don't know gonna knight over here but all i know is like you're supposed to like keep defending for now um, I got the E Spirit with the log, so that was a pretty good log there. Okay, back to a second Expo, so I kind of want to go for like a left side Expo here. I feel like he's going to E Drag on it or something on the right side. Okay, he didn't, so might get a tiny lock. Okay, it goes for Eagle, but yeah, I did get a tiny lock. The healer got like a last hit, so I wasn't able to hold the lock though. It's a pretty bad um, I Drag, not going to lie. I was looking at Fireball here to kill the E Drag, so it doesn't like bother me any longer. Also going to Skellies here and just go for Expo. Also, you're supposed to play your cards pretty quick because you don't want to leak the elixir you get from the elixir blobs. So yeah, you just want to be um, quick about it, like when you're placing cards and stuff. Gonna log over here. Also gonna go for. Okay, I'm not gonna go for skellies any longer. I'm actually gonna go for them here to save the Tesla, but um, I meant to let the Expo die because he played arrows on it, so I couldn't really do anything. But see what I can do here now, though. I'm up like pretty good amount of damage. At this point, all I can do is really just go for defense and just spell cycle to win the game. But play the eagle in the back, so should be able to beat this now. Never mind. Okay, that was actually some pretty good defense. I didn't expect him to go healer and uh, ejack there, but he actually went for it. So props to him, I guess. Okay, wasted the arrows. So I'm gonna go for archers on defense. Also gonna go for knight. Um, so this is actually how you defend a dual lane pressure and double. Okay, it's not really dual lane yet, but he's definitely gonna go for eagle in here sometime soon. Okay, wait, he's just going for the same lane all right kind of annoying but not really at the same time because i mean it just kind of makes it easier for me to defend now gonna fireball also gonna archers gonna log to get the elixir back so going to go for a tesla also going to go for 
a knight over here. The knight's dead pretty much because the healer's going to be healing up the eye drag. Okay, I kind of misplaced my fireball too because of that um, healer. Just healing way too fast. And I'm not being able to place my cards on time like when I meant to. Okay, hopefully I don't take a lot of damage here. I almost choked the game. Oh my goodness. Okay, gonna fireball, but I would have won by like 200 HP. I just wanted to um, be sure that I didn't choke the game to the golemites. Or the eagle mites or whatever, blobs or something. I don't know what you call them, but yeah, it gets pretty scary in triple, but honestly, I find it fun to defend eagle and pushes. Okay, got a match. Facing Hassan, this guy's playing E-Giant Bowler, so it's a bit of a bad matchup. Not going to be able to get a lock in this matchup, so I kind of have to fireball cycle, but I'll try my best. He's got a bowler too, that's the problem. Like, bowler NATO is so good with an E-Giant, so I'm going to knight over here to not let him NATO the archers into the baby dragon. Okay. It's a really good knight. Hopefully he's not back to Barbarail, so he's got to play like an E-Giant into it. Alright, that's kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, really hard to get a lock, so honestly might just go for like a fireball cycle. It's way easier to just throw a lot of fireballs, play some defense, and just win the game, so. Might try to do that, but yeah. Gonna arch in the back. You have to make sure to go for like an Expo Knight when you go in, though. When he doesn't have an Eagle in cycle, or like an E-Giant in cycle, not an Eagle -um. Because you gotta block the bowler on the expo. So like if you don't go for anything, the bowler's gonna lock on the expo and you just like lose the expo. Okay, wait, that was pretty smart, but like it's not gonna get any damage because I have a Tesla on the field. Also gonna go for a knight behind the bowler so he can't like NATO it into my tower. Alright, some pretty good play. You might try to go for like an E-Giant now because I wasted a Tesla, but should be like two off. Okay, gonna go for Ice Spirit. Actually, no, I was three off. Okay, two off now. Gonna skellies over here and just go for log to get back to my Tesla. Yeah, I pretty much had a feeling he would go for like an E-Giant because I did play a pretty bad Tesla, but that was because I had to fireball the cage to get some damage. Okay, so now that I actually defended that, I feel like I'll be pretty confident in fireball cycling because I thought I was going to take a lot of damage here, but I'm good. Barely took any damage. Took like a NATO damage. Um, just want to go for a Expo on the left here because I know he's not back to E-Giant, but he's got a Buller, so might need to block it with like a Knight. Okay, he goes for Lightning Bar Barrel. Pretty smart, honestly, because if he played a bowler, um, I would have been able to knight and just go for like archer's log and just DPS it down and get a lock. So he just took the safer way to just go for like a lightning bar barrel. I don't blame him for that. Okay, so double elixir, what you want to do is you want to just try to fireball cycle as much as you can. Not going to go for the fireball on the mega minion though, because I feel like I'm going to get punished for it. Okay, definitely going to fireball that. Also, I don't care if I activate king. I'm playing expo, so like, doesn't matter. King activation does not matter at all. Okay, kind of want to go in. Like, he's going to be able to defend, but I just have a gut feeling that the Expo is going to be good. Nice. All right, goes for Bowler and the Barbara. Okay, definitely do not go for Expos like that. I don't even know why I wanted to do it. I just wanted to do it really bad, though, but I don't even know why. Okay, the Bowler is going to get a hit on the Tesla, so... Got to play new Tesla over here. That means he might go for, like, a Lightning and get a lot of damage. Yeah, plays a pretty good Lightning here, so I'm going to go for a Fireball on defense. Also going to go for Skelly's High. Okay, the baby dragon's gonna go crazy on my tower, but and yeah, that was kind of scary because I messed up the defense there. Also, shouldn't have gone in on the right side. So I guess now you actually know not to go for like an expo when they go E-Giant in the back and they have a bowler. Um, I pretty much knew it, but like I don't know why I did it. I still don't know. I'm gonna knight over here to block the bowler. Okay, the Tesla's on the bowler, so I feel like I'll be fine here. It's not like crossing the bridge either, so should not get like a lot of damage here. Nice, I died. Not the archers I wanted to play. I didn't know I played them that low, but I'm gonna Tesla high here because I have to. Baby Dragon's looking pretty scary. If I don't do that, it's going to take my tower down to like 1500, so kind of had to. Okay, I'm kind of feeling ballsy here, so I'm going to go for Expo and just go for like a log to push it off, so I get a lock. Um, Hopefully he's kind of low. Oh, dude, that was like one second late. Yikes. If I did it like a second earlier, I would have gotten a lock. But yeah, I kind of did it late, so I'm going to have to pay for it now. Down Elixir and down damage. Okay, so not sure how I'm actually going to come back from this, but I'll try my best. If I go Expo here, he's going to be back to E-Giant. It's one off E-Giant. So he's definitely going to be able to play something on the field and just go for like an E-Giant. So I'm going to Fireball. Also going to go for a Tesla on this spot. I love the Tesla on this spot because it's anti-lightning. So he's not going to be able to lightning me. I'm going to try to lightning the Knight and the Tesla though. Okay, the Bowler's going to hit the um, Tesla. So I'm going to Tesla over here, play a new Tesla to not let the Bowler hit the old Tesla. Okay, goes for a lightning. Oh god, alright, this is not good at all. How do I beat this? Gonna log. Also going to go for a fireball to get a lock, hopefully. Oh, uh, alright, that paid off. I fireballed a 1 HP cage, but it got a lock, so that definitely paid off. I'm gonna log this back to make a lock on the knight. Um, that was just the damage I needed, so 
Okay, it goes for lightning. Um, I think I get back to like three more fireballs and he's gonna be able to get back to like two more lightning. So I think I win the game. I don't want to call the shots too early though, but I'm definitely not gonna play Atasa for that. I know what he's doing. He's just, he just like doesn't want me to go in. So playing Ejai on the opposite lane, but gonna Atasa here. Also going to go for a Ice Spirit High. Gonna go for a Log. Also gonna go for a Knight behind the Bowler to pull the Baby Dragon as well. Or what do you call it? Barbarrel, not a Baby Dragon. Gonna fireball up damage by a little and then win the game. Okay. Super scary because in that matchup you don't want to go in at all, but I went into a bowler. Pretty tired right now, so yeah. That was kind of a bad play, but managed to win it at the end, so doesn't matter. Okay, got a match here. Facing Wrath. I still have a lot of decks I need to cover, so hopefully he's playing a new deck. Um gonna cycle my Ice Spirit to force something out, and see what deck he's playing. Okay, playing Tombstone. All right, it might be Splash Shirt. Honestly, I'm happy you faded Splash Shirt because I don't think I faced it yet. Also, it takes like pretty much like no skill to beat that deck, so I have a pretty good matchup. Okay, plays a Lava in the back though, so that's not good. Lava Loon is actually a really good matchup, but like I split Arches in the back, so I'm in a pretty awkward spot. Oh, he's got Lava Flying Machine. All right, even worse because he's got like a Skelly King and a Skelly Drag. So he's also got like an Eye Drag and a Miner, so I'm gonna have to Tessa on this spot here to kill the Eye Drag. And uh, I feel like he's going to go for Miner, so I got to get ready to catch it. But going to have to go for Ice Spirit. Also going to have to go for Skellies here to not let the Eye Drag um, kill the Tessa. Also going to Knight over here to tank for it. Okay, so I kind of want to Fireball here, but I'm going to wait for the Miner. If it's in the back, I'm not going to be able to Fireball. Wait, he played it off to the side, so I'm going to go for Fireball here to hit the Pops, the Miner, and the Skelly Drag. Okay, I'm definitely in a pretty good spot here, so I'm going to wait till he goes for Lava and just go for Axe Bow. Um, what you want to do here is just like not be the first one to go in because I know I'm down elixir right now So obviously I'm not gonna be the first one to go in but still even if I was up elixir I'd go for like archers in the back or something Um, it's not really making a play though. So I kind of want to go in. Okay, goes for lava. So I'm gonna expo here Uh, might try to go for a flying machine hopefully in range. Okay too late now. He's definitely not gonna go for it But if he did go for it, I would have sniped it with my um Tessa and I wouldn't have to worry about like a fireball on defense no arches in the back okay so at this point i think i lose my tower because i'm not going to be able to defend all that so i don't have to panic yet because this always happens like i always tower trade with um lava miner skelly drags but this always happens like what you want to do is i think you want to tower trade in this matchup but you have to go same lane like the tower trade's got to be same lane so you can go opposite lane because if you take the opposite lane tower you're not going to be able to get a lock because you can just play skelly king and like barbs on top of your axe bow so it's pretty hard to get a lock through all that and Arches on defense. He's not back to arrow, so I'm going to Axe Bow here. Um, so yeah, at this point, I just want to pressure so hard that he's literally not going to be able to Lava, not even once. Because the moment he goes for like a Lava Hound, I have to sit back and defend. It's not optimal for me, so definitely going to try to keep going in, just not um, let him play Lava on the field. Just played arrow, so he's not going to be able to kill the Archers. I'm going to Knight over here, also going to go for a Axe Bow. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to like keep pressuring, so like that way he literally does not... Um, have a shot to go lava okay so i think i got a pretty good fireball here i'm gonna fireball these get the flying machine and the skelly drag out got a pretty hefty lock too so i'm pretty happy with that um i think he's back to barbs though so i might try to play barbs on top of the axe but it's all good i'll try to get back to my fireball okay wait he actually played a pretty smart barbs um gonna archers i think he's going to arrows but not that i care about it Gonna log, also going to go for a second expo once the expo dies. Yeah, also overcommitted with the arrows. Well, not really an overcommit, but the barb on the left would have tanked for the expo for like a bit longer, so he didn't have to like arrows it. Okay, that's exactly what I'm talking about. This game is over now, because all you want to do is literally pressure so hard they cannot go for a lava. And when they do that, you pretty much control the game, so yeah, it's a pretty easy dub. See you when I find a game, hopefully a different matchup. Okay, got a match. You're facing Cool Rider, so let's see what deck he's playing. Kind of sounds like a 2.6 player name, but hopefully not. Um, gonna Arches display here. Goes for Wall Breakers, so I don't think I faced Drill Wall Breakers yet, or like Minor Wall Breakers yet, so it's definitely gonna be a new matchup. Okay, goes for a Valk on the left, so I'm gonna Axe on the right side here. If he goes for Bomb Tower, like an Inferno Tower, I'm definitely gonna Knight. I'm gonna Knight right now, okay. Caught the Inferno, so I think I win the game now because. All I gotta do is skellies over here. Also gonna go for Ice Spirit Log, and he's got like two elixir right now, so he's not gonna be able to play anything on the axe, but he's probably gonna go for like guards on it once he has enough. So yeah, once again, all you gotta do in this match was just get the tank out and just go for Axe Bone Knight and Archers to block the Inferno. 
but they can sometimes go for like a smart inferno in the middle and just go for like a fireball bomber or something on the expo so you got to constantly like switch up your play style not let him have like a lot of fireball value okay he goes for bomber so he's definitely gonna go in here to fix his cycle his cycle is like mad awkward yeah i had a feeling he would so i'm gonna knight also going to go for a skellies and the ice spirit also gonna go for log are pretty good defense there so that means he's gonna go for um wall breakers to pull it back never mind wait he went for um val can you go for wall breakers i guess he got bothered by like that one skelly because it would have killed one of the wall breakers but it's all good it's just gonna help me out so once again i'm just gonna go for expo and just go for um archers once i have nine don't really want to go for knight already because like the inferno can't kill the knight and just lock on the expo and just kill the expo as well so that would definitely not be a good play for me Got arches in the back. Okay, it goes for fire spirit. Um, I think I'll let that slide. Okay, I didn't really... I'm going to be honest. I didn't think that would like connect on that tower because I had an archer walking down the lane. But yeah, this game is over. I just needed to um, block the inferno and I did so. Going to ice spirit to freeze it. It's probably going to go for like a valk low. Yeah, it does go for it. So I'm going to arches high. Okay, some pretty good DPS on that. Also going to go for log to kill the wall breakers. I thought he was going to go for fireball, but he just played a bomber and a wall breakers so yeah okay goes for fireball but it's gonna expo again just go for a ice spirit also gonna go for a pair of archers so i don't get caught lacking by the inferno um but yeah this game's over like i get too much log value in this matchup so i feel like it's a pretty good matchup for me um but when i lose this matchup it's always because they go for like a drill first play or because i'm stuck with like a really awkward cycle okay gonna log over here and yeah the expo locks on this game um it's gonna cut to the next game i guess because i mean not a lot i can explain there it's a pretty straightforward matchup all you want to do is just defend in single and just try to find the one sequence that's gonna allow you to get a lot of damage just go for like an expo block the inferno and just try to go back to a second expo just go opposite lane just keep going back and forth so it just kind of like throws them off and they don't have to focus on one lane but yeah see when i find a game Okay, got a game here facing teja see what deck he's playing the matchup started getting a bit repetitive so i'm having to take out like every other game but that's all good i still haven't faced a lot of matchups like log bait and uh like pekka and like other matchups like golem as well I'm gonna test on the middle okay this is good i haven't faced a hog deck yet so it's going to be a hog deck but i need to know like what exactly he's playing to be able to analyze the matchup here could be 2.6 could also be like hog earthquake giant skelly it could be any sort of deck so just gotta get ready for that let's go for an ice spirit oh it's gonna be hog axi nato okay so guards is gonna be like a bit of a better matchup for him because he can stall a max for a bit longer compared to goblins but pretty confident in this matchup so i feel like i'll be able to beat this i beat like viper like half the time in this matchup so not really worried about losing this okay this is valk so it's probably gonna rocket it yeah one thing i find super weird about this matchup is that they always rocket in single and just go for like a valk axi and double it's safer to go Valk Axie in single, that way I'm not going to have enough for like a Knight and like a Fireball Lock to kill it, but for some reason it just kind of feels like they're playing the matchup backwards, so gotta get ready for that. So yeah, I'd recommend don't like um, overcommit on the Expo too much, like don't go like Expo Knight, just go Expo, see if they rocket it. If not, you can go for like a Fireball, Ice Spirit, and try to go for like a Knight or something. But yeah, in single, do not try to overcommit with the Expo at all, just don't over defend it. But yeah, it's like an even matchup in my opinion, so even like a tiny mistake, like one XE hit could cost you the game because that's a lot of damage. So you want to kind of mitigate the damage. I'm going to expo here. I feel like it's going to rocket it again, so. Oh, okay. He switched up the playstyle there. I like it. I don't really expect him to go Valk XE there, so he's going to be able to kill my expo there. But I'm going to skellies and wait till the XE walks up so I can go for like a knight behind it so he can't nato it. It's going to knight right now, and uh, what? He can actually nato that. Okay, I did not know that. I thought if you played it behind the um, XE, you wouldn't be able to nato it, but he actually natoed it into my tower, so he got some damage. I'm just going to expo in the middle to try to get my damage back. I feel like he's going to be able to defend it with like a Valk XE, but not really too sure. I'm going to log the guards. Okay, he's back to Valk, so he's probably going to XE now. Or he could try to go for like a hog. Yeah, I had a feeling he would do that. This is a really good hog, though, because I still have to defend it. going to have to arch as well. I was going to just skellies and like let it go, but it's not going to full counter, so I had to do that. Okay, so I feel like he's got to play an Axie on the right side, so I'm going to go Expo on the left here. Also going to Skellies here. Okay, I didn't mean to shove the Expo, but I kind of shoved it. But yeah, in this matchup, you can actually go for like naked Fireballs in single, but I just didn't play this optimal in single, so I have to kind of like um, work really hard to come back from this. Might also try to go for like a Nato on the Axie to get some damage there. Okay, 
Bit of a bad night too, but he didn't go for Nino, so I'm fine here. But I don't really know how to get damage on him. Down a lot of damage right now, and he's also like rocketing Max, but just going for like Valk Xyz on it. So gonna have to find a way to get a lock here. Um, actually, might just go for like a fireball. Yeah, I'm gonna fireball. I'm gonna start the fireball cycle now. Try to catch up on damage. Only down like one fireball, so I'll try to go back to a fireball and just go for it. Actually, just gonna expo here to bait out like a Xy. Okay, gonna log. Um, this is a really good play actually. Okay. Gonna Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit actually helped me out a lot there. Okay, locked on the Archer, so the Expo is kind of untouched. He goes for Guards. He's back to new Valk, so I'm gonna try to go for Valk. Yeah, he goes for Valk. I was going to Axe opposite lane, but he played Valk, so I can't do it anymore. Gonna have to test on the middle. Um, when they start playing multiple tanks on an Expo, you pretty much like, you can assume like they're getting outcycled, so. Wait, he's got like four Elixir right now. Might not be able to rock it right away. Okay, he had a bit more than expected, but got some damage anyway, so gonna fireball him back up like a rocket now pretty good comeback from that so in triple all you gotta do is just keep going in just keep throwing the fireballs because i know he's gonna be trying to defend without a rocket on the expo try to go for like a valk xc nato and just rocket the tower but i'll try my best to not let that happen it's very annoying to defend that though the xc might get a hit I'm gonna log okay the hog's gonna get a hit because nothing's locked on the hog um i logged the xc but i actually didn't hit the hog so that was kind of unfortunate so I can't really do anything in this situation here because he's going to go for Xy and the X was dead. So all I can do here um, is just like hope that I get like a few fireballs in because I know he's going to rocket me too. Tessa high over here. Okay, he didn't rocket me for some reason. He had an Xy on the field there. Okay, there it is. This is a rocket I'm looking for. So when they go rocket like that, you just want to like constantly pressure, go fireball cycle. It's going to fireball. Oh, I hit the Xy. Nice. I was going to go for a log. Gonna go for Ice Spirit on the Hog. Also gonna go for Skellies here. Gonna go for Knight to not let that Hexy um, get damage on the Expo. Okay, good. Also gonna go for a Fireball on the Valk. Gonna go for a Log. Okay, nice. The Expo locked on. That's kind of huge for me because I don't have to get back to a second Fireball. I'm already back to it, but like I don't have to place it down. Um, I don't think it would have hit anyways, but yeah. Got some damage with the Expo, so that was a pretty clutch win. Um, kind of had a bad single Elixir start, but managed to come back from that. So I'm pretty proud of that. Well, you guys can beat Hog XC NATO now. Okay, got a game here. Facing Piero. See what deck he's playing. Gonna cycle my Ice Spirit. Okay, this should force something out, hopefully. Alright. It's gonna be Log Bait. This is good. I got like two RGs in a row, so I had to like cut the clip out for both of them. It's pretty annoying, but gonna predict a princess. Okay, I actually played it in the back. That's kind of strange because all the people played at the bridge, but this guy played it in the back, so get a free fireball. Um, I'm just gonna go for like archers in the back. Okay, wait, he's playing rascals bait All right, I feel like the matchups like a bit worse compared to like the classic bait because goblin gangs like a lot easier to deal with compared to cannon cart But it's all good gonna knight over here also going to go for a defensive expo It's a pretty good play in this matchup They can't kill it unless they go for like a rocket But they can't afford to go for like a rocket every time I go expo because they're obviously gonna get out cycled at some point So gonna skellies over here to keep my archer alive. Okay, he's got an eye drag um, maybe for the rocket, could also be for the Dark Prince or really anything, like Cannon Cart. Hopefully it's a Cannon Cart though, because then I can actually get a lock in this matchup. Usually I just win this matchup by playing a lot of defensive expos and just like spamming a lot of fireballs, but if he does not have a Cannon Cart, I can actually get a lock pretty easily, so. I'm gonna fireball the Princess here. I might try to go for like Rascals again in the back. If he does, I'm gonna go for Arches in the back again to cycle the Knight. Yeah, it does go for it, so gonna go for arches in the back and just go for knight on the left okay maybe not he played a dark prince on the right side so he's probably gonna go for like a dual lane pressure i'm not really too sure but oh, okay all right this is kind of annoying gonna knight also going to go for ice spirit gonna go for log also gonna go for arches in the middle i need that dark prince to come to my archers okay good um did i just wow i just absolutely defended that <laughs> no way thought i was gonna take some damage on the right side there but i defended all of that Okay, that's on the inside, but like I don't want to play a knight on that. Fireball's just a lot safer, so I'm gonna go for that. Okay, I need to see if he's got like a rocket. So I'm gonna go for defensive expo. He's got a rocket max expo at some point if he does have one, but my guess is he doesn't because he's got an eye drag. He's got a pretty sure he's got like a snowball. Um and he's also got a barrel, bandit, dark prince, cannon cart, rascal. So that's gotta be all the cards. Gonna knight here, also going to go for... Okay, I'm gonna have to log the... Actually, gonna log the right side. Might have been a bad log because I missed everything, but... Get a fat fireball there, though. Kind of gave me, like, an insanely fat fireball, so I'll definitely take it. Gonna knight? Okay. Um, 
I might have taken some damage here, but he's down a lot of elixirs. So in this matchup, if you see yourself taking a lot of damage, um, you can just kind of assume that you're up a lot of elixir right now because then you can go opposite lane to get a log. I don't really know if that made sense. That kind of sounded stupid, but like when they outcycle you with like that heavy of a deck, you already know they're down elixir and like, I don't know. They're also not in a good cycle. So I'm going to Fireball here. Also going to go for Ice Bird over here to block anything he's about to play on the Axe. But Axe is on 1 HP, but he's doing some pretty good work. Okay, I guess her Barrel Princess kind of arches on here. Should only get one hit. Nice. So now I'm like pretty positive he does not have a um, Rocket. But I'm just going to play it safe here. Going to Axe in the middle. You always want to go for Axe in the middle, even if they do have a Rocket. Because it's a super safe play. It also baits out the Rocket, so you can actually kind of like outcycle the Rocket try to block the cannon cart get a lock and everything but yeah this guy gave up so pretty easy win um cannon cart bait's always been easy to me so hopefully you guys find it easy too okay got a match facing ram he's actually one of my close friends um he's an expo player so he mostly plays like expo rocket decks might be like queen could also be bomber he could be playing any deck but it's gonna be a mirror matchup though skelly's in the back here okay also gonna go for archers to not take any damage from the east period but Probably means Queen Boat Tesla because he's got an E Spirit. I'm not really too sure, but that's my guess. Gonna Ice Spirit over here to force something out. Okay, it does go for Queen, so I'm pretty positive now. I'm gonna Fireball. Queen should also die to my log. Okay, so I'm just gonna log over here. So in this matchup, all I gotta do is like outcycle him in single, force him into like a really awkward cycle. I know this because I play Queen Boat a lot, so you can actually outcycle a rocket and force him into like a really awkward cycle where they actually have to go for like a Queen on the Expo. Um, and then you can block it with a knight and like go for archers and whatnot. So yeah, try to aim for that, but see what I can do here. He's playing pretty smart though. He's not letting me do that. I'm going to go for a axe bow. Okay, wait, that's kind of good for me, I think. Because what if I just go fireball here and then he's going to pop the ability? So I go skellies here to stall out the queen. So that means he's got to play a cannon or a tesla. Okay, he's got a tesla. I had a feeling he had a tesla because he was playing e-spirit. If he had like an ice spirit or like a fire spirit, I would have known he had a cannon. Cannon also got a nerf, so no one's playing anymore, but yeah, this matchup is pretty straightforward in my opinion. It's going to be autopilot for the rest of the game. You just kind of keep going in. You fireball the defensive expos. When they rock at me, you go in. When they don't rock at me, you try to go for defensive expo, be it out like the rocket on defense and just go in. Um, easier said than done, but that's pretty much going to be the pace of the game here. Okay, those are logs. I'm going to expo again. Uh, he's probably gonna rocket it this time. Okay, wait, never mind. Okay, does not go for rockets. I'm gonna fireball the queen here. Might try to pop the ability. So I'm gonna skellies. Yeah, I actually pops the ability. That was pretty smart. I'm gonna let the queen slide. It's not gonna get a hit, so I'm not really worried about that. So I'm gonna go for ice spirit to get some damage. I need some chip. Okay, it goes for log. So I did not actually manage to get a lot of damage in singles. So that means the game might be anyone's game now. You can actually come back from this pretty easily. Not gonna lie. Gonna knight in the back. I'm so gonna go for Fireball because I wasn't back to Fireball, so I had to get back to a Fireball. Okay, he rockets my Knight on the opposite lane. That is not. I don't agree with that rocket, but at the same time, it wasn't that bad of a rocket because I can't like go Expo right away. I have to play something to tank for it, then I can go in. So it's gonna go in now, and I also went in on the left here because I knew he was gonna predict me. Like he didn't have the rocket in cycle, so it was pretty obvious he was going to predict me. So I just went for it. I'm gonna log. Also gonna go for Ice Spirit to not let the Queen get any damage. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I think he's got a pretty awkward cycle, so he's got to play Defensive Expo to get out of it. He's not back to Rocket, not back to Queen, so I might try to go for like a Defensive Expo. If not, he's got to try to go back to a Rocket to kill the Expo. Yeah, I think he's back to Rocket now. That was a pretty smart play, but if I just keep this up and try to get back to like multiple Expos, just go back and forth, left and right, I might be able to beat him. Okay, he's got like two Elixir right now. Wait, gonna Expo opposite lane. Also gonna go for Knight to block the Tesla. Okay, he didn't play it, but I'm gonna Skelly's here. Also going to go for a log. Um, I'm gonna. Oh no, wait, that's not where I meant to play. No, okay, that's kind of unfortunate. I meant to play the Ice Bird on the spot where the Tesla would actually lock onto it for like a split second, but misplaced it by like one tile, so that was pretty unfortunate. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna have a second opportunity to get a lock here, but worth a shot. I'm gonna keep going and also gonna Knight over here to block the Expo. I'm gonna go for Fireball. Just let the expo die now because I can't defend it. If I try to over defend it, um, I might lose the game. So you gotta know when to like stop defending your expo. If you don't have the game sense to kind of like stop expoing, you might lose the game in a mirror matchup. So you gotta know when to defend the expo. You gotta know when not to go and you gotta know when to go for like a defensive expo. Um, okay, the expo is pretty high. So I'm gonna knight. Also gonna go for Tessa high here. Also gonna go for log. 
on the knight to make a hop off my expo. Alright, this is pretty annoying. The queen locked on the expo. Whatever. Hopefully the queen dies though to that um, knight. She did not. Alright, don't pop the ability. Please. Okay, there we go. He popped the ability, but that was kind of late, so it didn't really make a difference. Gonna log. Also going to go for a fireball. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a fireball. I'm gonna go for skellies here as well. He's gotta get like a good rocket on my tower to win the game here. So I'm gonna knight. Also gonna go for um expo. I try to go for like a rocket on that tower here because he's back to a second knight. Um, I'm gonna go for one of these. Also gonna go for skellies over here. Gonna go for knight. Gonna go for ice spirit to kill the queen so you pretty much just want to keep applying pressure at this point i think i lost the game but worth a shot just keep trying here uh wait no i actually won the game wait he had to x on defense so i won the game now gonna log fireball out damage him and yeah he knows it too okay that was kind of a clutch at the end but it is not a good matchup at all it's like a 70 30 matchup for them so pretty happy i managed to beat that i feel like watching is not gonna help much in that matchup you have to play as like a queen bow player and an expo player to be able to know when to ask when and when not to. Okay, got a match. You're facing Eater. See what deck he's playing. Gonna cycle my Ice Spirit. This should force something out. Hopefully, not a beatdown deck. Though I want to face beatdown right now because I haven't faced any beatdown except for like Lava Hound and like Eagle. Okay, gonna be Splash Shared. Um, it's a pretty good matchup. Funny thing is, this is one of the matchups that are supposed to be good, but it kind of feels hard to beat because if they play it right, you're just not gonna be able to get a lock. Um, but it is a really good matchup for Expo, though. I just don't know how to play the matchup optimally, but yeah, it is a really good matchup, so I'll try my best. Um, so what you want to do in this matchup is just go for, like, a Fireball on the Ice Wiz and the Tombstone every time you see it on the field. Also, when they go for Baby Dragon, you often want to go for, like, a Tessa High to kill it. Um, better if you don't let it cross the bridge, because then they might go in, but if it does cross the bridge, you might want to go for, like, a Knight to block it, um, prevent it from going any further and hitting your tower. Also, get a Knight over here to force out, like, a Ice Wiz on defense. Never mind. Okay, let's lock on. All right, goes for NATO back, so don't really want to go for skellies here. I'm gonna go for skellies in the back. I could have played them high, but if I did, he would have ice was, and I would not have gotten that one night hit. So, yeah, I didn't want to like force out the ice was on the night to not get that one hit. Gonna arches in the back here. Okay, so I think he's got like an ice was baby dragon, um, poison tombstone hand. Okay. Goes for Ice Wiz. I think he's back to Barbarrel. So gonna Expo here. Also gonna predict the Tombstone. That's like the only way he can um, stop the Expo right now. Okay, I guess he wanted to be like a little bit unpredictable. So he did not go for like a Tombstone. But he actually took a lot of damage there. So I don't really know if that was worth it. I think he probably should have gone for like a Tombstone. But I did pre-log it. So that was pretty weird. Um, Don't really know what to do here. Gonna Skelly's in the back. Okay, goes for Valk in the back. So I'm gonna Knight in the back here. Um... I assume he's going to go for left lane, not the right lane, because he has some damage on the left. So I'm going to try to go opposite lane. You don't want to go same lane as Splash Herd, because if you do, you might not get any damage. And they get, like, infinite poison value, so you always want to go opposite lane. I repeat, you always want to go opposite lane. going to go for Ice Spirit to block the bridge. Notice what I did there, just block the baby dragon at the bridge. So, like, not let it cross, and then you can archers, like, download to uh, play some pretty good defense. Going to Expo here. Also going to go for Ice Spirit to keep my archers alive. Um, okay, goes for poison. I'm gonna knight over here to bait out like a barbarell so I can kill the Valk and get a log, hopefully. I'm gonna log over here. Also gonna go for skellies to pull it outside. Nice, okay, wait. He had to nade on that, so that means my expo locks on for a bit. Nice, okay. That was actually a really good knight archers because he had to nade it into the tombstone, so the expo locked on because the archers DPS down the um, tombstone. I'm gonna knight over here. Also gonna log. Okay, so oftentimes I find myself like not blocking the expo when they go for like a Valk, I suppose. Or when they go for like an Ice Fizz and just go for Poison and uh, try to play a tank low. But then again, I had a pretty awkward cycle, so couldn't block it. Gonna Expo here. Um, okay, goes for Tombstone High. Also gonna go for Ice Spirit. Gonna Knight to block the Ice Fizz. Nice, I actually got it this time. Also gonna log over here to kill it. Um, okay, I just got a call, so I'm gonna have to cut like the 10 seconds. But pretty much, I just played Archer's High to DPS on the Valk. And oh, the Expo actually locked on. I don't know how, but yeah, it locked on. So I'm going to log Fireball and just win the game now. Looks like he's not happy about it, but yeah. It's all you got to do in Splash Red matchup. You just keep going in. I'll cycle the Poison, just go for Fireball on the Ice Wiz and the Tombstone. Okay, got a match here. Facing AK Louis too. See what deck he's playing. Hopefully Pekka or Golem or... I don't know. Oh god, okay. It's log bait, but I just cycle my log, so... Going to take a lot of damage here. Oh my god, okay. Also goes for Princess, so that's going to get two hits. Alright, off to a terrible start here, but 
I still think I'll be able to beat it because I'm used to like beating this consistently with a mighty miner. So I feel like night gang is like super easy to beat compared to that. And Arch is in the middle here. Also going to go for Expo. He's definitely going to rocket it, but he might have to play something else on it to not let it get a lot of damage. Okay, goes for Ice Spirit, but it's not really going to cut it. Okay, also got an Archer hit, so I got some of my damage back, but I need all of that back. So I'll try to outcycle the rocket here and just go for like an Expo again. Okay, goes for a Princess. I don't really want to Fireball that for some reason. Like, I just feel like it would be a really bad Fireball if I went for it. So I'm going to Knight in the middle here and wait for him to walk up and just kill the princess he might try to go for like a knight to protect though if he does i'm gonna have to fireball like i can't log because um he's got log bait he might throw a barrel at me but um if you guys didn't know you can actually full counter the barrel without a log you can try to play archers in front of your tower like directly in front then you can play something in the back like a cheap one elixir card to kind of like deny all the damage okay so gonna start getting low he also goes for rocket so i'm not gonna get any damage here also going to go for an ice spear. I'm gonna have to let one of those connect because if I don't, um, they're gonna one tap the ice spear and just get a lot of damage. Okay, so I think he's back to princess. I'm not really too sure, but I feel like he is. So I'm gonna have to predict it here. Oh, dude, I should have gone for it. Yikes! I was about to let it go, but um, as soon as I like decided not to, he played a princess. So, gonna archers. Also going to go for expo. Um, he's probably gonna Inferno here, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'll cycle the rocket. Yeah, okay, yes. Let's go. Um, that's gonna be game, because he's got enough for log now, but, like, that's not gonna make a difference. The Inferno is dead, the Expo killed it. Also gonna log over here for that gang. If he goes Barrel, I'm Fireballing. Or I can try to go for, like, Skellies and, like, um, Archers in front. But yeah, this game's pretty much over. I think he's gonna give up now. He's not gonna be able to come back from this, so. Let's see, though. I'll wait till he gives up. If not... Uh, guess I'll just try to win. I mean, I already won. Yeah, this guy gave up. Alright, yeah. See you when I find a game. Okay, got a match here. Facing Abner Legend. See what deck he's playing. Gonna cycle my Ice Spirit, like always. It's a pretty good play, so, yeah. It's definitely gonna force something out. Okay, goes for logs. I'm gonna log him back here. It's a cycle deck, but I don't really know what type of cycle deck it is, so. Gonna Skelly's in the back. Goes for drills. I'm gonna Knight in front to predict the drill. Nice, okay, so it could be any sort of drill decks. Oh, he's playing Skelly King. Okay, so in this matchup, I gotta force him into an awkward cycle where he has to go for, like, a Skarmie Inferno Tower on Maxpo. Then I can actually, um, distract it and get some damage. That's all I got in this matchup. It's a pretty hard matchup, like, an 80-20 matchup for them if they know what they're doing, but he's probably gonna Dark Hob. Yeah, had a feeling he would, so I'm gonna Archers over here. This might be the thing I'm talking about right here. Like, if he goes Inferno, it's gonna lock on the Archer. Okay, I think I won the game already because he also missed the log on two of the skellies. So he's got to go for like a fireball to kill the axe bar, right? Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to knight to make sure he doesn't like dark ob or something. Okay, it goes for fireball. Yeah, I kind of put it into that fireball. Going to ice spirit. He's probably going to like wall breakers it back and be super confused because that was also kind of a bad ice spirit. But yeah, I think I already won the game now. You want to get like a decent amount of damage and just kind of hold it for the rest of the game. But he can definitely come back from this though. I feel like I put him in a pretty awkward cycle right now. He's back to Skelly King, but he's also got like a Skarmy, so. Might not be able to get a lock, but I can definitely get him to like overspend on the Expo and just go for like an opposite lane Expo. That's the game plan for now, but see what I can do. I'm gonna Expo over here. Also gonna go for Skellies like this to block the Inferno just in case he goes for it. Okay. Goes for Skelly King. If he goes Skarmy, I'm definitely gonna log it right away. Okay, you need to make up your mind. Every time they do that, you have to be quick about it. Like, if you want to log, just log it right away. If not, you just, like, hold on to the log and just play archers or something. But you have to be quick about it. You can't just, like, save the log for the wall breaker and just sit around and let the expo die. Just, like, watch it die through this army. You can't do that, so... Gonna have to protect your expo with all you've got. Gonna, um, Skelly's here to, um, protect. Also gonna go for archers. Okay, goes for log, but he missed one of the archers. Also gonna log over here to kill the wall breakers. Okay, got a log here, so it's probably gonna dark up. Nice, wait... He shoved it all the way up high, so that's going to get one tapped. Nice, okay. This is game. I feel like I already won the game. I'm going to predict a Skarmie on the night. Oh my god, that was clean. Okay. Got every single one of the Skarmie. There's no way. But yeah, all you need to do in this match is get a lock. Just kind of get into their head a little. Okay, he's also in my head a little. He predicted me, but... Yeah, going to go for one of these. And yeah, that's game. Two fireballs, so I'm just going to go for the first one and try to get back to a second one and just win the game. So yeah, like I was saying, you just need to kind of like get a lock and just start predicting them left and right. If you don't want to predict, play it safe. Just save your log for the Skarmie. 
<coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I need to uh, drink some water. Okay. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, got a match here. Oh, not again. Okay, hopefully he's playing Mega Knight here because I already have enough RG. I got like two RG games, so if he's still playing that deck, I'm probably just going to clip it out. Uh, going to Knight on defense here, though. Actually, no, why don't I just put it twice? Like, it's a pretty important matchup because this matchup, like, people face this matchup a lot, so I'm just going to put this matchup twice um, if I beat him. If I lose, I'm probably just going to cut it out because it's a matchup guide. Why would I keep a loss? Um, but yeah, I'm going to Tessa on defense here at 10 okay goes for fisherman in the back gonna go for left lane this time not gonna go for right side so i think i'm fine um kind of gonna go for expo but i'm not going to okay i thought he was going to giant skelly with the fisher but he didn't gonna skellies over here to block the fisher to not let it get a hit on the expo nice okay uh he's got a barbara what oh wait i think he took out the um giant skelly he's playing the lightning variant now just like ghost lightning okay this is kind of um, interesting now because he's not playing Giant Skelly, so it's going to be a bit harder. Um, not going to get a lock. Like It's going to be like 10 times harder to get a lock, but since I already got a lock there because he played RG in the back and he says good game. So he probably thinks he lost, but it's a really bad matchup for me, so you can still come back from this. So what you normally want to do in this matchup is just go for like a spell cycle in the beginning. Just go for fireball logs bait him into playing a lightning on like a tesla or like a knight and just try to go for like a expo finesse on the other side to get a lock but this is definitely not a normal game though because i just literally got a lock because he played rg in the back so that was kind of unfortunate but yeah hopefully that made sense gonna skellies here to not let it hit my tesla gonna keep it alive for like a bit longer also gonna go for knight um ghost is going to lock on the knight so that's good tesla should also kind of help out Okay, I like his play style. He's kind of adapting because he's not playing the hunter low. Because last game I fireball like six hunters. Well, not six. I'm over exaggerating, but like it was like one or two hunters and like a lot of fishermen and stuff. So he's just not giving me any fireball valley this game. Um, gonna go for a knight in the back. This is building up to be like a fat lightning. Hopefully not though. Wait, why don't I just go in? Uh, okay, goes for fireball here, or I'm gonna go for fireball on the. Hunter and the Barbaro. Okay, also gonna go for a log to kill the Fisher. Nice, got a lock. Um, I'm gonna do this to not let a lock on the Expo. Gonna keep my lock here. Also gonna go for one of these. Gonna go for an Ice Spirit. Gonna go for log so the RG doesn't get any damage. Nice, and I got a second lock too, just because he played RG in the back again. He's not playing this right because he's supposed to be like lightning cycling in this matchup, but he's trying to get an RG on the tower. That's not gonna work. Okay, it goes for a RG in the back. I'm going to fireball it, to be honest. I need a spell cycle him out, so... I'm just going to fireball him. By the way, I'm pretty tired here, but... I don't know if you guys can tell. The commentary has been a bit scuffed. You guys can probably tell, but yeah. Um, let me know if you guys like this type of content. I don't do this often, but I can do one of these for, like, Queenbow. Once I do the part 2. Once I hit 80k, of course, but... I'm going to fireball. Um, I try to go for RG on the left here. Yeah, let's go for it. So I'm going to test on the middle. So I'm gonna go for Ice Spirit, that should freeze. Gonna Knight over here to block the Ghost and the Hunter. Okay, so the Hunter should die to my Archers. The Ghost should die as well. Nice, pretty good defense there. So far, I've only taken one RG hit. Um, okay, goes for RG. That is not really a good play because he played it at the bridge, but yeah. I um, think it's too late for him to come back from this at this point. Like too late in the game for me to let him get rg shot gonna knight over here to not let the fisherman get a hit um keep the tower clean also goes for a ghost so gotta go archers also gotta go skellies here um interesting rg because he put them into my archers but that's all good gonna knight over here also going to go for fireball also gonna go for a log okay i gotta get back to a fireball here to win the game um but yeah that was pretty easy not the typical rg game like i said so it was kind of weird but yeah um i should not be able to beat that by a lot i don't mean any offense to him by the way okay got a match this guy's playing remy elite deck with like magic or tornado fireball so it's a pretty good matchup i think it's like a 70 30 matchup for me so i should be able to beat this okay it goes for um spare gobs minor so i'm gonna have to knight on it so gonna skellies here to dps down the miner gonna fireball the magic archer but in this matchup all i gotta do is like really just i don't know go for expo knight and not let him like nade him a knight away 
Um, if he does nade it away, I need to have my Tessa ready. That's all I gotta say. It's a pretty easy matchup. Um, different story if he goes for like a Valk bomb tower though. If he does that, I might have to let it die. Not gonna be able to defend it, but worth a shot. Kinda wanna go in now, so I'm gonna do it. Just gonna expo. Also gonna go for an Ice Spirit. And then go for a Knight. Okay, that was a good play. That was a really good play by me. Holding on to the Knight and then going for um, Ice Spirit first. Expo is going to die though because the bomb tower hit like twice. Actually, no, it's not going to die completely. It's going to get like a tiny lock because I managed to log it pretty fast. Going to arch just on top of the wall breakers so they kind of like have like a weird pathing so they can't make it to the tower. Um, versus when I play them down low, they would actually make like one of them would make it to my tower. So if you're playing archers on wall breakers, you got to play them on top always. Okay, see what I can do here. Kind of have like an awkward hand for a. Uh, Minor spare gobs. Hopefully he doesn't do it. I don't think he's back to it. I just logged him on the expo, so he's got to be like two off. Going to go for an ice spirit. Hopefully bait out like a Valk. Uh, magic archer. All right, that's fine by me. Gonna knight. Um, also gonna test a hide. That should not get sniped, right? Or am I stupid? Okay, it hit for like one shot, so I don't really care. Gonna test a. Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay, it's on the Tesla maybe? Nope, it is not on the Tesla. Gonna log over here for the miner and the spare gobs. Okay, also put in one of the um wall breakers into that. So I'm gonna knight over here, also gonna go for expo now. Uh, I think he's like one off magic archer, so it should be fine. Oh he's back to it. Alright, I didn't know that. Gonna um Tesla here. He's probably gonna fireball miner this, because I mean I was hoping to get like a bomb tower, but got the um Valk instead. Yeah, just go for fireball miner, but I'm gonna log over here. Uh, but yeah, pretty much, I just want to keep doing this till I get a lock eventually, so this is pretty funny. Gonna Arches in the middle, um, because they're bomb tower predict. Okay, if I went Expo there, I probably would have lost the game, because then he would be able to punish me opposite lane for all the elixir disadvantage, but since he didn't hit the prediction, he's kind of like slipping right now. If I keep this up, I'm definitely going to be able to win the game here. Hopefully the Magic Archer doesn't hit the Expo again. Gonna log over here, um, please hit the wall breakers. Ah, okay. Killed one of them, but got a knight low here to not let the magic archer go crazy. Okay, he's gonna play a second magic archer, so I'm gonna predict it. Nice. Okay, a pretty good prediction on that. Also, you gotta be smart with the predictions. Every time you play a knight low, they're always gonna magic archer. So you always wanna have like a Tesla or like archers high in this matchup to not let the magic archer go crazy. Okay, see what I can do here. Just cycled a Valk though, so I kinda wanna go for like an Expo Knight, but since I played an Expo on the Miner. Gonna have to go for Expo, Log, and then try to go for a Ice Spirit. Oh, okay, this is awkward. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, a lot of damage there, but I think I got a Lock. No, I do not get a Lock. Um, He's got a Valk. Wait, the two Knights on the right side are low-key gonna go crazy there. What the? Yo, look at that DPS. No way. I don't think I've ever won a game like that. Just two Knights on the tower, hopping on the tower, just take it down to 919. Should lock on the magic archer hopefully. Um hopefully it is have enough for like a Valk. Nice, okay. Did lock on the magic archer. Gonna go for fireball log now because he wasted a magic archer, so he's not gonna be able to like um get back to a second one anytime soon. But yeah, the game's over. Um that's like one of the easiest matchups in the whole game. If you're facing Remy Lee though, it feels like a really hard matchup. Okay, got a match here. Facing Vines YouTube, see what deck he's playing gonna cycle my ice spirit i'll do like a few more i think i got like maybe like an hour maybe hour 30 worth of clip um uh, mortar wait i haven't faced mortar yet okay this is good gonna test over here okay what the hell you need to calm down sir just goes for minor um ward right off the bat after um playing a mortar spent a lot there so i kind of want to go for like an expo knight on the right side to block the cannon cart and just get a lock um, I feel like he's got a cannon cart though. I just have a feeling he's got like cannon cart guards and like um, spare gobs and whatnot. So it might be kind of hard to get a lock in this. Oh wait, he's got dark gob and a skelly king. Okay, yeah, this game's over. He's not going to be able to do anything here. Gonna ice spirit to kill the bats. And yeah, the expo locks on. He's got to like, I don't know, play something on that. Okay, goes for skarmy. So all you want to do in this matchup is um, just try to get them to overcommit in single, I guess. I didn't even like do anything in single day. He just kind of played the horde into my Tessa and just went for a minor. Got a pretty good fireball there. Um, it was like a four for eight. Then I went opposite lane, blocked the Skelly King, logged the Dark Ob, played an Ice Bird on the bats, and got a lock. Feels good. Okay, I'm um, gonna Arches in the back if he goes. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty aggressive. 
Um, I was going to say if he goes mortar, I'm going to go for a Tesla, but that was pretty aggressive and I caught it. So, yeah, kind of funny. Kind of want to go for like an Expo again. I know he's back to Skelly King, but would it really be a good idea if I do? Okay, let's see if it is. Um, Skelly's in the middle here and the Expo should obliterate all the... Oh my god, you're the Skelly split. No, dude, go back and watch that. No way. I did not even mean to do that. There's no way. Okay, I think I misplaced the knight there. Or I mistimed it, not misplaced it, but that's okay. Mordor's gonna get like four, maybe three hits. I don't know. I don't really mind taking those, but oh my goodness, I did not mean to do that. That was actually so sick. Gonna expo here on defense. Um, okay, goes for forwards. So I'm gonna fireball, so I'm gonna go for ice spirit. Gonna go for skellies to not let it lock on. Um, okay, he gave up. I'm just gonna cut to the next game. See you. Okay, I got a game here. Probably gonna be my last game. I'm a walking zombie right now. I'm so tired. So yeah, it's gonna end it here. It's gonna be the end of part one, but see what matchup I got though. Dark Prince. Okay, Sparky. Maybe Goblin Giant. Maybe E Giant. I mean, I got a lot of E Giant. I don't want to face another E Giant. Gonna Knight over here. Okay, it is going to be E Giant. Whatever. Um, he's got Eye Drag and a Dark Prince, so it's gonna be like a different type of E Giant, not the one I faced with like Cannon, or not the one I faced with the Bowler. So, okay, he's got a Cage. Um, it's pretty interesting because the Bowler guy also had a Cage. I don't really want to go for a Fireball on the Cage because the Bowler guy tried to punish me when I did. So I don't know. Maybe this time will be different. Okay, wait, he's got a Mother Witch. Okay, this is like two times harder because I think he's got like a Golden Knight, Bomber, Dark Prince. I drag natal lightning cage and the an e giant so fireball log cycles the way to win this gonna arches in the back here but yeah i'm not gonna get a lock in this matchup so i'm just gonna go for fireball log cycle gotta defend the e giant here though i know he's gonna e giant soon gonna log here also gonna knight here um the bomber died nice that's good okay i thought it was gonna walk into my tower range but i guess not i guess it doesn't matter the knight died anyways so i'm gonna test that in the middle here and see what he does um Okay, goes for Cage. I kind of want to fireball that, but I'm not going to. He's got a Mother Witch, so I'm pretty scared of that. I just realized I should not be playing the Skellies like that, because if he goes Mother Witch high, I'm done. Like, I'm screwed. There's a lot of pigs on the Tessa, and I'm just screwed. Kind of a bad Mother Witch, so I guess he didn't want to, like, let me get a really good fireball, but he missed on that a little, so I got a pretty good fireball. Um, But, yeah, he's not really playing the matchup right, I don't think. Like, he's supposed to be playing e in the back and, like, I don't know, predicting me. Like all the other players do, but I don't know. This is pretty awkward. Okay, gonna Tesla here. Also going to go for Archers. Gonna go for Log. What you want to do in this matchup once you get to double elixir is just defend the whole game. Literally just defend, fireball cycle, defend, fireball cycle, defend, fireball cycle. Do not go for Axe, but if you go for Axe, you're not getting a Log. So. Uh, if you lose because you go for Axe, that's on you. Gonna Ice Spirit over here to cycle. Also going to go for Archers. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest here, that's definitely gonna do some damage. Don't want to play my knight into that, because then everything would walk into an E-Giant, so... Gonna have to log over here, also gonna go for Tesla, gonna go for a knight, also gonna go for Ice Spirit, to maybe bait out like a lightning on the ground. Nope, okay, didn't happen. I did that like twice yesterday though, but this guy didn't fall for it. I don't know how to defend the eye drag here. Oh my goodness, don't tell me I choked. Gonna Fireball, also going to go for Ice Spirit. Oh my god, that was so much damage. Okay, that got me scared because the eye dragon locked on and there's a mother witch behind it. Um, so let's just say if I played the skellies like right next to my tower, I would have lost my whole tower by now. Gonna go for a Tesla over here like this. The bomber should die. There's a horrible bomber on his end. I'm gonna log, also gonna go for skellies in the middle. Um, he's probably just gonna keep doing that because it worked out one time, so he's probably gonna hope to uh, make it work again. Gonna Tesla over here on the right side, anti lightning spot favorite tesla spot there um dark prince is going to hop the border and just kill it though but it's all good um so yeah, pretty much all i'm gonna do in this matchup now is just play some defense just go for fireball cycle i said it like 10 times but yeah fireball the bomber just go for ice spirit okay because they're e giant so gotta defend this now going to go for a tesla anti-lightning spot like this also gonna go for skellies over here gonna go for knight to block the Dark Prince also gonna go for a fireball that should hit the Mother Witch and the what do you call it the eye drag? Alright, pretty good defense there. I'm up quite a bit of damage here, so 
I don't really have to get any fireballs on the tower. All I gotta do is like defend the whole game. Just like not let him get any damage here. But yeah, hopefully you guys know how to beat E-Giant by now. If it's like three, maybe four variants and all of them are pretty easy to beat. This is by far like the hardest variant, I think. Maybe, no, actually maybe Bomber. Or what do you call it? Not Bomber, Bowler one. But this is also like pretty hard, I think. Gonna fireball log. Um, 30 seconds left. He's not gonna be able to do anything. Gonna test over here. Also going to go for... Knight gonna go for Ice Spirit to reset the eye drag. Um, it's actually not gonna hit the eye drag, which is kind of unfortunate. Gonna log over here. Also going to go for a fireball. Did I miss? Yeah, I missed, but it doesn't matter. Knight's not gonna die to that eye drag. Eye drag's almost dead, so I'm fine here. Gonna test the high, just try to go back to a second fireball just in case. Um, I choked to like a, I don't know, random lightning mirror or something, but yeah. Gonna end the video there, bro. I played way too many games today. Played for like hours straight. Let me check the time, actually. God, I played for almost six hours straight. Okay. This is not okay, but it's a one-time thing. So, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. So, once again, don't forget to like and sub. On the part two, I'm actually going to cover, like, all the matchups I couldn't cover in this video. So, yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button and get me to 80k so I can make the part two. Then I can do, like, Queen Bow or something, but that's for later to worry about. Love you guys, though. Peace.